It is nearly impossible to vlog with children. Hello you guys, welcome back or welcome to another vlog. You guys, this has been a vlog that's been just a long time coming. Lots of dinosaur noises going on. I am just making myself, myself, myself a coffee. I am still pregnant and still going to be pregnant for what feels like a very long time. I'm gonna make like a little caramel macchiato. A couple little updates while making my coffee. I wanted to start the vlog off with a little life update. Double shot of espresso, a little bit of salted caramel from Whole Foods. You guys, this, okay, so I have so many updates. <clears throat> tons of chick-fil-a ice if you don't know now you know and i might be talking about it in this vlog because i just i never did an intro so this is the intro but i have been obsessed with nugget ice and i didn't know you can buy nugget ice at chick-fil-a so many life updates i can't even so like i said i'm 35 weeks pregnant crazy I'm so grateful to have made it here. So I think my last vlog, we were going to Buffalo and I didn't end up vlogging because we were just living in the moment and it was so nice, which I always end up kicking myself in the butt for not vlogging because it's so nice to look back on. And um, I've also got some sourdough folding going on over here, you guys saw. And so, I didn't vlog we got back and then a week later we were just getting settled with like moving back in and then we had plans to move so things have been so crazy the last few weeks the last apartment that we were in we were in for two years we literally got it online when for those of you guys that don't know we moved from Buffalo to Tampa during the pandemic I had to shut down my business and we were like, we just wanna start over. And so my husband got a job offer here and we took it and I closed my studio down and I have been 100% stay at home mom ever since. We packed everything up within a couple weeks and moved here and only saw our apartment online. And from the second we walked in, it just was not for me. And it was really hard to find a place that I felt like it was worth packing everything up and then going to. I really wanted to love a place. So we ended up there for two years, which even though I hated it, went by so fast. Obviously the market's insane. I still don't even know Tampa well enough to know where I would wanna live to buy a home. Found an apartment that is literally across from the beach. So right outside our door is a pool and right across the street, there's literally a walkway to beach access and I haven't been able to enjoy it as much as I want because I want to get everything settled here before the baby gets here and I also am just so uncomfortable and huge and because of the procedure I had done I can't go in any water so I can't go in the pool I can't go in the ocean I can't take baths so this little hair it's been a little brutal this place is a dream it's night and day i have so much to do as far as making this little place a home for us but i'm trying not to rush because i already rushed on a couple things and i just don't love it so i want to live here feel the vibe kitchen was so easy because i know exactly how i want the kitchen but as far as the rest of the house as far as the rest of the house i am really gonna take the time to just kind of feel it out and see how I want to decorate it and find just my way here. Do you know what I mean? So it's been incredible, incredible. The kids are just literally like, they think they're on vacation. They're, and I'm just really excited for this new beginning for us and the baby that'll be here in a few weeks. I have five weeks left. I, we also celebrated my 30th birthday, which is crazy. Um, I'm so grateful to be 30. I feel like I finally know a lot more about who I am and what I want and just <sighs> I just feel like I'm exactly where I want to be right now you know you guys I feel like it's so important to 
continuously work at building a life even though it's never perfect one that you don't feel like you need a vacation from and I feel like I'm there at 30 I thought at 30 life would be so much different goal wise like I thought I would just have it all figured out I'd have this like career or I'd be like this entrepreneur like this badass you know whatever and I am I am a badass homemaker and it's something that I love and that I have wanted to do my whole life and it brings me so much joy and I just am not defined by the typical things that I thought that I would be or that I would want um, so that's just what's been going on we're gonna get into the vlog now and I hope you guys enjoy and get ready for you know some more content I just haven't been feeling good I miss this space and I am just really appreciative for everything so I hope that you guys are well and let's get into the vlog you guys the lighting in here makes me so happy our last place did not have good lighting at all and it was horrific and we never replaced it and two years just went by so fast and there's not windows in here like I wanted there to be but there's so many pros way more pros and cons and I'm just like so grateful to be here and just so happy so anyways I wanted to show you guys I'm heading to the pool I'm meeting the boys at the pool but I wanted to show you guys what I just got in so I have had to build my swim summer collections but I'm trying to do it slowly quality over quantity so these are both from airy so I've had I've worn this is my second time wearing this I actually wore it on my birthday I got I'm not really like a maternity wear girl um but maternity clothing girl so I just buy regular stuff so I bought this swimsuit this is I think it's called the crinkle I'll link everything down below but I got it in a large, which is typically what I would get anyways, depending on how things run. I don't like things tight, and I'm honestly, even though I'm really short, I'm just not a very small girl. So I could probably get away with a medium, but again, the way that I like things to fit. So we'll see how it goes after this baby is born. But I got it in blue, and then I'm going to show you guys in the black in a second. But I just literally got these in, this in. Um, I showed you guys in one of my last little hauls um for my maternity wear with my beyond yoga i showed you guys and i love the target ones these ones are a little thicker which are nice but they're really cute and i love the color so i got this one and then i'll show you with the black bathing suit i got the orange one so it has a little pocket on one side really nice i don't know maybe linen you can see this one is unbuttoned this one isn't i'll definitely unbutton the other one but I really love it. I think it's so pretty and I love both of these. So if you are looking for something good, I did. I've been trying to recently not just base my own opinion off of reviews because people actually wrote really bad reviews about this. Um, but I tried it and I like it. It's not as soft as I have a green one from H&M. Only thing is, is the one from H&M, the straps do not stay on. Like I'm constantly pulling them up. This one stays on, so however it is, it's lower cut in the back, but how cute, if we can get it to focus, is this combo? I know it's a little bit Halloween-ish, but I love it. I feel like you can't go wrong with black. You can't even tell I'm pregnant in here. Um, so black is always a safe color to go for, but I love this. So cute, again, and it's really comfy. It's not, like I said, as soft. But it stays on and it's really good. I will definitely be getting it in more colors down the road. But I like this little neon color for summer. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then I want to show you guys a couple other little products that I've gotten for the beach. Slash just in general. I actually have a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to kneel down like this. So... One of my, so at our last apartment, we did have a pool, but we never utilized it because it's number one. Now when you walk outside our door, the pool is right there and the vibe here is completely different. So we just feel more comfortable using the pool here and it's just, just a really different vibe. So we have been using the pool like almost every day and we're right across from the beach but obviously it's a little more work going to the beach with the kids 
which is totally fine. I used to take them by myself and drive there. We were only 20 minutes away before. Now we're literally three minutes, a three minute like from our front door. I wouldn't even say three minutes. I mean, by the time we cross the road, but the beach is obviously where I prefer to be in general. We've been using the pool a lot, which kind of <sighs> scares me. And I'm not a professional, I'm not a doctor, but I was trying to do some research on the kids being in chlorine this much as they have. So obviously detox baths, which would be like an Epsom salt bath. I know there's a lot of different detox baths you can look up on Pinterest. But one thing that I found that somebody recommended is this vitamin, vitamin C. Um, organic spray so you literally do adults and children four years and older take five sprays or more daily as needed it's just definitely something that's really important to me since we're going to be utilizing it that much and i noticed that even after a bath the kids still smell like chlorine so okay so vitamin c spray is a necessity necessity <laughs> necessity in my home during the summer. I spray vitamin C on the boys before entering a chlorinated pool to protect their skin from damage from the chemicals. Remember not to overdo it. A little bit goes a long way. Additional notes on chlorine. Epsom salt baths once a week will help detox their bodies from the chlorine and chemicals from the summer. Avoid washing with soap after swimming in chlorine. It strips the skin of their essential and natural oils. Rinsing with water removes all of the chlorine. Secondly, my kids haven't experienced sunburn just yet, but this remedy works for burns too in adults. Just spray it directly on the skin every two hours. Bonus, they can lick it off their skin and they won't even care. They'll be happy about it. So that's what I'm going to implement this. And then I'm going to do the Epsom salt baths once a week. Also, this has been the sunscreen that I've been using on the kids that I love. This does not say that it's tear free I don't know if I'm missing it or what but the kids don't complain about it getting in their eyes I put it on them before I go out there I wish there was a way I could share some really good posts with you guys um for me experts are people who put the time and the research in they're not always the people with the MD after their names and so I've just found some really great people that I align with and that I really trust and through their research and I mean how can we think the sun is that bad for us um obviously it can cause damage if you do it the wrong way so typically I want to say like 15 20 minutes unexposed to anything and then you should put like I put the boys in a sun shirt because obviously we're at the beach in the pool and the sun here is no joke um and cover them up and then probably like maybe you could do a hat my kids won't wear hats which is fine but they have a really strong base tan so anyways enough on that if you guys are interested in hearing on all that that's the journey i'm on i'm learning and i am loving this lifestyle okay you guys i do not feel good <laughs> i feel like crap but i'm gonna make dinner because i have to eat so i'm gonna make one of the half baked harvest um one of her recipes i have her cookbooks i don't know if this isn't one of them but she posted it on instagram and it looks so good so i got everything to make it I have some water boiling. I'm going to cook my pasta in that. I salted it heavy. I am going to toast some walnuts on here. But her recipe, her recipe is made with chicken and I am not a chicken girl at all. This pregnancy a couple times I had it. I haven't had chicken in literally like eight years but I was like craving chicken fingers a couple times and really wanted it so I had some I just listened to my body so I really just can't do I don't know I wasn't in the mood so instead I got some hot Italian sausage from Whole Foods they didn't have organic so this will have to do told you that I did I did things a little differently I feel like I always do okay so I did the hot Italian sausage I felt like that would be really yummy 
So I cooked my pasta and then put it in back in the pan with the Italian sausage, yummy. And then I'm gonna do a generous amount of pepper because pepper on everything, obviously. So good. And then I'm gonna do Italian seasoning. I'm actually gonna open that up and do a good, generous amount of that. And then I have to open this Manchego, Manchego, I think that's how you say it, cheese. It says a whole cup, so I don't know. I'm just gonna do what I think looks good. This, um, this gr is grating way easier than Parmesan. You guys, this was so easy. I feel like so many people are so intimidated in the kitchen and you really don't need to be because it's so easy. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up. And I'll obviously top with way more. I should have added a little more olive oil. Okay, and then you guys saw in the blender I had all of those ingredients. Again, so simple. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so creamy and yummy. Look, sorry, the shadow. Way better lighting in this kitchen. I'm obsessed, I can't wait. You guys, this looks so good. It looks like baka pasta, but it's red pepper. I'm gonna add more cheese on top and then some fresh basil. A playlist to jam out to while you're cooking. This is your sign to make one now. Because it's life changing. Oh, you guys, am I having so much pressure? And I have been for so long. And every three seconds, I feel like my water's gonna break. I feel like for the last, I feel like this whole pregnancy has just been so crazy. But I'm like, this is it. This is the moment. It's no joke. And I'm suffering. The nighttime is so bad. I literally fear nighttime because. I'm so uncomfortable and every three seconds I'm like, this is it. Look at how yum that looks, you guys. I'm gonna go try it and let you know. Obviously, if it makes it on the vlog, it's good and I'll link the recipe down below. But you guys, let's see, better lighting right here. This is where it's at. Oh, you guys, my heart is so happy. It's eight o'clock at night and I'm about to eat this big bowl of pasta. It's gonna be a rough one for me.